Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 Framework tutorial. This is our partner 51. Inside this video, we will discuss about main to main relationship. If you go to the next tab, let's say that we have an admin panel. Inside that admin panel, we have multiple users. So we will store all the users inside this users table. And inside our admin panel, also we have several different types of user roles. We have let's say super admin, admin, author, editor, blogger, etc. So what we did, simply we have assigned a single user to multiple roles. It means a single user can be a super admin, it can be an editor, blogger, author. And also a author user role is also should be assigned to multiple users. So to manage users and their roles, we have a third table called role underscore user. Inside this table, we will create a column called user ID, which is a foreign key and indicates the primary key of this users table. And we have a role underscore ID. Role underscore ID is a foreign key inside this table, but it indicates the primary key inside this roles table. So if I back to browser, back to our database. So inside this database, we have several tables and inside these table list, if I make some zoom, so here we have a users table. Inside this users table, we have multiple users entry. If I open a duplicate tab, go inside this database and here inside this tables list, also we have a table called roles. Inside this table, let's say that these are the user roles we are supporting. Let's say we have super admin, author, editor, and a blogger. Again, if I open it, this into a duplicate tab, back to our database, and now inside this tables list, we have a third table called role underscore user. Inside this table, we have the columns as called ID, which is a primary key for this table. Next, we have called user ID, which is a foreign key attached with the ID column of this user's table. If I back to the table of role underscore user, now inside this also we have a role ID, which is a foreign key, and it's a primary key inside this ID column of this role's table. So if we closely look inside this table, so user ID 1, is now three times as we can see and this user id1 is attached or let's say assigned the role id equals to 1, 2 and 3. If I back to users table, user id1, this is the user. So this user has the role as super admin, author and editor. So inside our admin panel, this user seems to be three different roles for the super admin, author, and the editor. Back to table. Next, we have the user ID 2. Here we have another 2. And the user roles assigned as 3 and 4. It means the user ID 2 means this user has the role of role ID 3 and 4. That user is editor as well as the blogger for that admin setup. Next, we have called the role ID means user ID 3 and the role ID 3. This is a single role assigned to this user. It means this third user has a single role inside admin setup and that is for editor only. Now, by the help of eloquent relationship, let's understand that how can we implement the concept of many to many relationship. So, if I back to editor, so if we go to the models folder, so here we have app, inside this app folder, we have models folder and inside this models folder, we need the models of user, role. So inside this models list, here we have the user.php file. So inside this, what I will do, we want the user means we want all the roles on the basis of user ID. If I back to slide. When we pass the user ID 1, we want all the roles what associated with that user. So for that, we are going to create a function or let's say method inside this. So public function, let's say rules. And inside this, let's say return this. And we need to call the method call belongs to many. 
So if I make some zoom inside this editor, so here we have belongs to mini and we need to associate with our role model. So let's pass rule and it's a class means it's a model class. So simply here we had written a method inside this user model in which we are going to fetch all the role which is associated with a single user ID. So how to test? Simply back to student controller and here inside this first of all we need to load our model. So let's say use we have let's say user model go inside this any method inside this controller and simply what I will do let's return if I type user all to print all the users if we save back here and if I type the route called first of all we need to check the route so go inside this routes folder web.php and here we have the users route this users route indicates all about list users method inside this student controller and here it is so what we have to do simply go here and type users now as we can see that these all the users what we have inside our users table so let's say that what I want if I make comment of this line let's return user we are going to pass a user ID one and we want to fetch all the roles what associated with this user ID so simply we have created a method inside this user.php model so simply we need to call this method as a property so if we save all these changes go here reload this page and as we can see that the first user role ID means first user ID has three different roles called super admin author and editor in the same way if I back to editor let's pass user ID 2 if we save go and reload this page so the second user ID has two different roles called editor and blogger so is it possible to fetch by the help of role model if we pass let's say role ID 3 it means editor so is it possible to get all the users whose role is editor obviously it is possible so how can we implement back to editor go inside this role model so models folder role.php and inside this we are going to create a method called public function let's say get users and inside this simply let's return this here also we will use belongs to many because this is a kind of many to many relationship so inside this we need to pass our user model which is a class save these changes back to any of the controller and if we want to use this role model first we need to load that so use let's rule model comment this line first of all it's return rule and if we want to get all the rules from table so rule all save these changes go and reload this page so we have inside our rules table as super admin author editor and blogger so let's say that we want that how many users inside our database whose role equals to author so what I will do return let's rule first we need to pass our primary key so find we want this author so id equals to 2 we need to pass 2 here and the method we have created inside rule model equals to get users simply copy and using it as a property so save all these changes go and reload this page so we have only a single user back to our table to check that and inside this role underscore user as we can see that the role id equals to 2 is only assigned to this first user so when we pass role id equals to 3 so role id 3 is given to three different user ids so back to editor if we pass let's say 3 here save this change go and reload this page so we are getting three different users so successfully guys here we have a single table 
Also, we have a single table, but these tables are attached with many to many relationship. So, by the help of eloquent, eloquent in Laravel, we have implemented many to many relationship. Along with, we have used and get all the respected user rules as well as respected users list. So, in the next video, we will see some more different concept. So, for this video session, guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.